Hello my dear students, today we are going to talk about the effects of energy transfer again. About this topic we learned that uh, what are the non-renewable and renewable resources that we use for energy and what are the fossil fuels mainly and what are the disadvantages of using fossil fuels. Basically we said that uh, all of them will emit uh, in a certain amount of greenhouse gases which will harm the uh, air and also these fossil fuels will create waste that may harm the soil and water so uh, and also they are limited resources that that's why we are calling them as uh, renew as non-renewable resources so uh, now today we are going to talk about the uh, alternative energy resources. So if you want to follow me from your book, please open module H, unit 2, lesson 4, pages between 140 and 142 will help you. So what is alternative sources of energy? So as an alternative source is a resource that can be used uh, instead of fossil fuels. Okay, we have multiple different types of energy sources that can be used uh, that can be used instead of fossil fuels, but they have some disadvantages and advantages and some of them are really easy to use but some of them are hard to get. So solar energy will be the first one that we are going to discuss. Solar energy is basically the energy which is coming from the sun. So after you buy a solar panel like this, the energy will be basically free. And uh, you can use the solar panel for a long time. But the problem is the sun will not shine in the same amount every day of the year. And shine uh, again, it is not shining uh, in the same level evenly on earth in some places of earth are, are taking more sunlight uh, on the other hand some places on earth are taking really low or sometimes no sunlight at all so we still haven't fully developed the technology to work store the energy inside the solar panels and uh, another problem is we still haven't fully developed the technologies needed for turning solar energy into electricity. So it still has uh, needs some improvements. We still need some improvements about solar energy. What else we have? Nuclear energy. So nuclear energy is controversial. Why? Because First, it is also not renewable. We are using a type of mineral for nuclear energy and this is also a limited resource. And other than this, nuclear energy, but uh, let's try to talk about the meaning of nuclear energy first. It is released, it is the energy released from splitting the nuclei of a radioactive atom, such as uranium. So uranium is actually uh, the basic substance that we use for nuclear energy. So like minerals like uranium are limited because they can't be replaced. That's why it is called as not renewable, non-renewable. Okay? And the thing also, the fact is, nuclear power plants uh, produce harmful radioactive waste that must be safely stored for thousands of years. So the waste of these nuclear power plants will harm nature for thousands of years. So it is really uh, dangerous to have these type of waste for just storing, for just producing energy. So also, uh, these power plants are giving off a lot of heat and uh, if there is any, any simple accident happens in these power plants, it can cause uh, severe consequences. So because of this radioactive waste and uh, 
this uh, risk of accident, we can't say that nuclear energy is a safe energy resource. But on the other hand, they don't produce carbon dioxide, okay, like, like fossil fuels, and they can produce a lot of energy. Uh, but it is a really controversial energy resource that we uh, are uh, discussing on all over the world. What is next? Let's see. Hydroelectrical energy. So this energy is coming from the water, the fast moving rivers or water flowing downhill through the dams. You've probably seen something like this before. So hydroelectric energy is produced by the flow of the water. And I'm sure that uh, you have seen something like this in movies or in the television before. Uh, these are how we are controlling the uh, water flow of water in order to produce energy. It is a renewable resource because it is just using uh, the movement of water. But uh, in order to use this hydroelectric energy, we need to first build dams, which are storing a lot of water. So the flowing rivers should be stopped by these type of barrages uh, so that they can hold the water and use the power of the water. So this means the land around this dam must be flooded. And the disadvantage of this hydroelectric power is that the, it can harm the environment and there will be a loss of habitat for the uh, living things around this environment because the environment will be flooded in years. Also, uh, dams like this can disrupt the fish migration and the uh, uh, life of fish inside these rivers because uh, they can't move from one side to the another safely most of the time. And they may cause some problems related with erosion for land, related with land. Uh, so even though it is considered as a clean energy resource because it is not producing greenhouse gases, uh, we can't completely 100% say that uh, hydroelectric energy is the one of the safe energy resources that we can use. So after hydroelectric energy, what else we have? Let's see. So wind energy is the next thing that we can use for an alternative source. It is again considered as a renewable resource because it is just uh, made by, generated by wind. So how wind energy is working? Wind, basic, wind energy is basically made by the wind which is turning the blades of a wind turbine. So the, this turbine, turbine is uh, connected to a generator that produces electricity. And uh, this electricity will be given to the uh, city electricity system. But the problem is, these turbines can ha harm the birds around them. And some birds just fly into them and uh, when they are migrating most of the time. And because they are changing the direction of wind, also it can uh, cause some uh, problems related with bird migration. So another problem is, it is also causing a lot of noise. So it can be also destructive and uh, disturbing for the people who are living around these uh, turbines. And 
Another obligation, another problem related with wind energy is only certain areas, only certain places that we can produce wind energy because of only in certain areas we have efficient wind to be used for producing this type of energy. So next, geothermal energy which is also a renewable energy resource which can also be used by an, as an alternative energy source. What is geothermal energy? Basically it is the heat trapped inside the earth, uh, underneath the earth. So it can be used as a heat resource or it can be used for producing electricity. It is renewable which is a good thing so it is a clean and also it's a clean energy resource, it is not producing any greenhouse gases or waste materials, but the problem is it can be only used in certain areas, in only cer in certain places of, on earth that we can uh, harvest geothermal energy. Where is it available? It is available near hot springs or geysers or active volcanoes, so the places where the earth crust is active. Our next and last actually energy resource is biomass. So which is also a renewable resource and it is in, it includes living or just recently dead organic material that can be used as fuel like trees, crops or decaying organic matter can be used for as biomass. However, the problem is it can produce carbon dioxide which is also a greenhouse gas and which can pollute the atmosphere. So the last thing that I would like to mention about as, a, uh, as an alternative source is waves. So it is not common energy source among the world, but still uh, waves can be used as uh, energy resource in terms of electricity. So if the technology develops enough, maybe someday uh, energy may come, most of our energy may come from the ocean, the waves in the ocean. But for now, this technology didn't develop that much in our uh, uh, to just provide energy for cities. Let's try to solve this question as an exercise of this subject. So what type of alternative energy does each image show? We have nuclear energy, hydroelectric energy and solar energy, geothermal energy, wind energy and biomass energy. Please, while we are just matching these, uh, just try to remember what is each type of energy and what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages of these energy types. Okay, the, it is important because we need to uh, remember each of them and the function of each of them. For example, let's start with nuclear energy. We said that we are producing nuclear energy in nuclear power plants and which is a type of non-renewable energy resource but it is not producing uh, carbon dioxide or any greenhouse gases but it is producing really harmful wastes and it is really uh, risky to use to build a power plant nuclear power plant because it can uh, a small accident can cause really big environmental problems what else we have? Hydroelectric energy, which is a renewable resource because it is using water and uh, it is it can produce a lot of electricity, a lot of energy, but it can harm the environment, it can harm the uh, population of fish inside the river, it can harm the uh, plant and animal population around the river because all of these places will be flooded. What else? We have solar energy. Remember these, uh, I don't know if you have these type of calculators in your home. 
these are mostly all type of calculators which are using a solar battery on it on them and they are using the solar energy so just check if you see one solar energy is a really safe energy resource it uh, is not producing any waste materials it is almost free if you have the solar panels but the technology needs more development on solar energy and the problem is we don't have even sunlight on every place on earth so that's why sometimes we can't uh, use solar energy even if we want to what is geothermal energy it is the heat basically the heat which is coming down from the earth and it's a, again a safe energy resource but uh, it is not producing any greenhouse gases that's why it is a clean energy resource but we can see uh, we can reach geothermal energy every time everywhere on earth what about wind energy what do you remember about wind energy try to remember that we said that it is again a renewable energy resource and it is not producing any waste materials any uh, greenhouse gases but it can harm the bird population around of it and we can't harness wind energy in every place on earth and the last thing is biomass which is a renewable resource but again it is producing carbon dioxide gas uh, as a waste material so it can pollute the water.